Yeah, and, and and individually for you is it's been a it's, it's been a crazy crazy couple of weeks. You, oh yeah. You have the the MLB All Star Game yeah. out there. You you win the high school game, All American Game MVP. You win the home run derby. Uh, you you committed to South Carolina. Can you describe what these last couple of weeks have been like for you as an individual? Well, I can tell you that this is you know the best moments of my life. I mean, this is just the best summer of my life. This is the most fun I've ever had playing the sport. Um, it's really good to be able to wake up in the morning, just excited to go out throughout your day. Um, and I couldn't be more excited to spend these moments with my family. I mean, that was their first time coming out to like a event like that away from home. Um, and especially the East coast to come stay with me during an event and just, uh, be able to win that MVP award and win the Homer Derby with them in the stands and see my sister crying, running up to me after, um, you know, that's life changing. That's what makes me want to continue to play the sport. Wants me to continue to do whatever I'm going to do in life and, and be really good at it. We, we we saw the on the field accomplishments out there. The all star all star game, that all star weekend. What was what was the best moment that maybe we didn't see? Who who did you meet? Who did you interact with? Who what what leaves a lasting impression on you from out there? I'll tell you what. I I walked in there and um we start hitting BP with Pete Alonso. Um we get out to go check the field out to see how many people are there, what we're going to have to do to prepare ourselves. And uh, there's 55,000 people there all cheering. Um, we're sitting there with Acuna. He's talking to us saying, don't mess up. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's, it's really, it's really cool to be able to meet all of these MLB guys. Um, and just to be able to say like, we participate in something similar, you know, I mean, it's not the same, but it's, it's very similar in a way. Um, and the the way that they interacted with us, I mean, it's it's really cool. And, and we learned stuff from that. We learned how they carry themselves, you know, how they interact with fans and stuff like that. I mean, Mookie Betts stopped and took pictures with with me and the with Samuel Richardson. And, um, you know, that's just really cool of him. You know, that's that's going to stay in our minds forever on what we need to do and how we prepare ourselves for the future. Well, the the opening rounds was a, a fairly empty stadium. Yeah. The, then the the finals right there, you got fifty five thousand watching you and all the and all the all stars. Is that exciting? Is that nervousness or what kind of emotions are happening? So it, it, it's all it's every emotion you could ever think of in, in in one little moment. And um, you know, personally, I kind of feed off the butterfly nervousness. Mm -hmm. And um, when I got out there and started getting, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a great day. I mean, this is just. This is what every kid dreams of, and there's only two of us for this year who can say that we were even coming close to participating in our dreams, and um, so I just try to make the most of it, and and I, like I said in the other one, I said I dreamed of every possible scenario for the whole entire night, and I woke up after every single one of them, and the best scenario worked out, and it happened. And and the last thing we got to ask you about, because I don't want you to miss a bus. I don't think they'll leave you. Yeah. But uh, when you slid into second base uh, on that on that opening double, you you gave a little spurs up yeah. sign out there when you slid in. So what what made you decide on South Carolina? What made you want to be a Gamecock? So, um, when I was picking a, when I was picking a school, I wanted to tell everybody that I didn't pick a school. I picked a home. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm a Charleston native now. I'm a Somerville boy, and um, I really wanted to go to a place where I can call family. And I knew no matter what, a bad or good day, that they were always going to have my back. They're always going to be the people who pick me up and try to make me a better person, not even just a baseball player. Um, as soon as I went there on campus, I mean, we were just chatting it up. They're showing me all around. They're teaching me every single little thing that they do throughout the day. They're inviting me on fishing trips. Like, that's what I dreamed of. And, you know, that it's going to be really hard to, you know, try to make me not to go to college now because I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked for this. So um, that was just probably one of the best decisions in my life and it was awesome because my family was right there cheering me on the whole they were really supportive and um they're just as excited as i am